It does not matter who you were. It only matters who you are. Hey guys, it's John out here on the back deck enjoying a lovely glass of iced tea. The sun is out, but it's about to go under a cloud. And as it does, it'll get much cooler out here for me and I'll be very happy. <laughs> um, I wanted to hop on and talk about the concept of it does not matter who you were. It only matters who you are. Because of my personal spiritual story of past life experience, um, I have a lot of people who contact me to tell me that they knew me back in that time period or that they were there too. And, and they they will talk to me about, you know, we should get together, you should come visit me, or we should do all these things, and we should connect in this way. And um, I'm a firm believer that it does not matter who anybody was. It only matters who you are in the here and now. The I am moment, the moment of creation, the moment you have the ability to do anything in your life, the moment you have thought, word, and deed. Too many people I know have a past life experience. Most of the people I know have not been regressed. Most people I know have been told they were this specific person in a past life, but have never been regressed. But to me, it does, like I say, it doesn't matter. It only matters who they are. But a lot of times, the concept of a past life will get them stuck on the past life. They'll, they'll think because they had an important role in a past life that they have some spiritual mission or fate or destiny in this life. And that is very much a New Age belief in how, the definition of karma, because it did not say that in, in any text anywhere. Karma literally meant what you sow, you reap. It wasn't an over lifetimes thing. It was literally a position of you being in a space of um, what you're putting out, you're going to get back. But when you look at the, the, the idea that um, people start to mix in these past life stories with new age beliefs, you start to get a whole new issue that comes into play. Like I had someone recently contacted me who was like, I was with you in a past life. We need to get together. And, you know, I, I know the coming ascension is, and starts listing this, this list of new age dogmas that are being promoted on YouTube right now that I don't believe in at all. I, I, I don't believe there's this destined prophecy of animals. I think we are creating our experience. And when I look at the perspective of they're not only mixing reincarnation, but they're mixing it with this prophetic stuff, I, I, I think they're kind of missing the point. The prof prophecies in the future and the past life is in the past. They're missing who they are in the now. They're missing being here and living loving now. They're, they're so focused on the past. They're focused, so focused on some future thing that they're doing nothing now. They're, they're, they're fearful now that they're not going to do this. They're hoping they're going to get their sacred mission done. There are no sacred missions. There are, there's no fate or destiny. Your life is, is literally, and this is all my opinion, your life is literally this pinpoint of creation. You can't go to the store next Thursday right now, and you can't go to the store last Thursday right now. There's only one moment you're ever going to live. You're, the future is just a place where you set goals. And when you experience those goals, it's going to be in your present moment because it's the only moment you're ever conscious. It's the only moment you ever experience. So it really comes down to make the best of your present moment. Don't worry about the past. Don't worry about the future. Be in the present moment and make the present moment a beautiful, successful, loving moment. And then make your next one a beautiful, successful, loving moment. Make the next one a beautiful, successful, loving moment. And next thing you know, you've got a beautiful, successful, loving life. And that does more effect to the world than any prophesied uh, 5D ascension or whatever is, is being talked about right now. If you look online, you'll find people who, who are talking about the 5D ascension. 
you'll also find people who say they've already crossed into the 5D dimension. Well, the reason they're saying they've already crossed over is because that new age dogma is starting to break down because everybody was hoping for some impending event, but now they're saying, I am already there, right? And it, it's not about the ascension. It's just more about, about them believing what they're believing. It's not some prophesied event that's going to be coming. It's, it's you broadening your awareness in the now, in this moment, in this present moment. So come back to this idea that the future is not set. It is truly just substance waiting for belief, but it's our belief in the present that it's waiting for. And when we put putting belief in the present that is successful and loving, what happens is we create that successful, loving world. But you can get totally trapped in the reincarnation trap by getting so focused on what you did in the past life and expecting it to do something major in the future. You're just denying who you are in the now, and you're not doing anything with who you are in the now, and in not doing anything with who you are in the now, you're creating nothing in the now. So come back to you. Come back to your place of understanding that you are the creator of your experience, and it's only created in the now. It does not matter who you were. It only matters who you are. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.